What's going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and welcome to Assassin's Creed Origins. I'm sure you've seen the trailer and the gameplay from the Microsoft conference and the Ubisoft conference, but this is my gameplay. I got to play this yesterday on Xbox One X and it was glorious. Look how beautiful this world is. Egypt is absolutely incredible looking. I was blown away by the new setting and I think as I mentioned in my impressions video that it is just the breath of fresh air that Assassin's Creed needs. Replacing this wondrous uh, river uh, and, and god based world is, is such a cool switch up for the franchise and I was waltzing into an area about midway through the game here on my horse. You've always got a bow. I want to get these vultures out of here because this game does not seem dead and stale. It seems fresh and so we want to get these yucky birds out the way. I really, really think that they made some nice changes. Now, I'm still a TBD on some aspects, right? The overall story, how they and if they incorporate the modern day. What they do with the, the temples, uh, the more explorative parts, and the more mysterious parts, if there's any puzzles, and how the new elements uh, are sort of fleshed out into a game's worth of missions. But thus far, the big changes they've made that I appreciate are one, the setting, two, the graphics look gorgeous. I mean, this is one of the most beautiful games I've ever played. Three, this new Eagle Vision system. Now, it may remind you heavily of either Far Cry Primal and the Owl, or Ghost Recon Wildlands and the drone, because this bird just hovers, and normally birds don't do that, but uh, Senu is a magical eagle, and, and definitely helps Bayek out quite a bit. So we're marking targets, and you'll notice they have levels on their head, uh, because combat here is much more stat-based, it's much more action RPG-based, and it's much more, um, I would say, of, a, of a, a careful fight than it is just like counter, counter, attack, attack, counter, counter, attack. Like you have to be ready and you have to be aware. Um, the bow is something that you can pull out with left trigger at any time. Uh, and I'll be referencing Xbox prompts because like I said, I played on Xbox One X. Um, so the bow is thing you can pull out at any time, but you have different kinds of bows. So you'll notice I'm using a, a single arrow bow, but later on you'll have uh, like five arrow bows for, for close range damage, you'll have precision bows, ones that are better against, better against animals. Um, and a cool little feature is that when you highlight an enemy, you can see the damage dealt, and you can see the change in damage dealt, depending on if you highlight their head, or if you highlight, uh, you know, a, a vulnerable part in their armor, etc. Um, just a lot of really nice touches going on in here, you got birds in the sky, you got the beautiful uh, scenery, and then you have these guards who I am coming upon to kill so softly. We're at this camp here. And we're going to start off with an assassination. Now, the game is able to be played both uh, stealthily or very aggressively. And the skill tree that you'll see in this video really helps reinforce those elements. Now, I'm going to pop this lion out because I am very, very excited to see what the, uh, the fauna does in this game. Crocodiles, hippos, lions. That is a really cool mixture of animals. And it obviously is like very Far Cry-esque, right? Like shooting the cage, getting the animal out. He attacks the people at the base camp. It's interesting to see how like different elements of the Ubisoft uh, arsenal, the Ubisoft lineup, sort of merge and meld with each other. Um, but you can climb almost everything in this game, and that is incredible as well. So later you'll see me climb just like a basically a mountain, and, and it's pretty cool. And the, the developer that was helping me with the game said that anything you see... Uh, you can get to. So this is a gigantic world, and obviously I only saw a small section of it, um, but it is a big world. Now you'll see some of the combat here against this lion. He's not the best target to show it off against, but right bumper is to light attack, right uh, trigger is to heavy attack, and then X is to dodge. Now he's pretty tricky to actually attack for whatever reason. I don't know if it's because he's just vicious, because he's small, uh, or because I'm missing, but either way, um, it's a good chance for you to see me get eaten by a lion at the last second, desynchronization, and we'll enter a load screen. Um, I got to play uh, for about an hour or so, and I played two different sections. This is more of the open world section, and eventually we'll get to a village, and there will be some uh, missions and cutscenes and stuff. And then I got to play more of an arena style with a boss, because they've introduced bosses this time around, and I think that's a super cool move. Um, bosses are something that seem to, like... They fade away, right? In, in, in light of modern game design, in light of really immersive experience, bosses don't really have a place. But they found a pretty good way of incorporating bosses which are like, look at that vicious arrow. We're just pegging this dude. Um, and you'll notice that we take him down, gain XP, add more level points uh, to our inventory, and also loot these fools for their gear. Because gear, as you know, now plays a big role in Assassin's Creed Origins. Um, you'll have different color and graded weapons that have different stats, some that have different perks. Um, very cool there, right? Like the environment, uh, I aim at him and then it accidentally breaks that pot, fire goes everywhere. 
knocks him down, gets the kill without even having to do anything myself, and I picked up a bow that was a purple. Um, there's also another way that I could have approached this camp. There was a, uh, a mounted weapon over there that you saw, um, but we're going to get the heck out of here and head towards the sea, because that's where you'll see uh, our mission is. I think there actually is one more dude in camp, so let's wipe this out completely. Uh, you'll see that right now we're on the, the tail of the crocodile, who, if you remember the leaks, uh, the crocodile was the character that was uh, represented in the screenshot leak. Um, and that's the mission that we're actually playing there, which is kind of funny. Uh, the It's not an actual crocodile. Oh, there are crocodiles in the game. Um, it is a character known as crocodile. And there's nice finishers. Um, and you also have an aggression meter. So you may have noticed above my health bar down there at the bottom, there was another meter, like a yellowish-orange meter. And that builds as you're fighting. And once it builds, you can unleash a rage attack with both the right bumper and the right trigger. And it's a powerful attack. I believe it's unblockable. Um, and I, I think that with skills, you can like upgrades so that you can combo out of it and do some real devastating um, sequences and strings of moves. Gorgeous. God, love just looking out there. I cannot wait to play this game. I have been a massive fan of AC from the beginning, but I've really thought that lately, you know, Syndicate was okay. They did a nice job, I thought, with the story and mixing it up a bit, but it, same old, same old, and I just felt blah about the fact that Assassin's Creed really hasn't made any changes, hasn't really made any upgrades, any updates, it kind of just, it was really, really running itself into a place of repetition and, and, and boredom for me. So I love the fact that it does have a little bit of a fresh sense again, it has a little bit of a, of a new vibe, and I'm very excited to play like the full thing and look into it uh, when it releases later this year. So we use Senu to target that boat, that's where we want to get to. Uh, and we're going to actually pilot this thing. You, you notice I, I skipped ahead a little bit there just because I was swimming around for a while and didn't want you guys to watch me... Uh, wander in the water. You can go underwater. Uh, there are, like, buried, uh, sunken treasures and ships and things of that nature. Uh, there's also water combat, which you'll get to see in a little bit. That's freaking awesome. The boats, I only got to ride in this one boat. Um, it moved quickly. It was easy to control. I didn't have any issue. It seems like, uh, Ubisoft is transitioning sort of more of the Black Flag big boat style to Skull and Bones, which we'll, we'll talk about in a different video. But for today, we're gonna swim over here and meet Hoteferus, I believe is his name, the informant here. Uh, his ship has a large statue. He sails a trading ship, and we are going to do our best to see what he has to say. So, now they send the son of Egypt against me. It has been a long time since I spilled so much blood. I was sent by Apollodorus. We share a common interest. Who are you? What do you want, eh? I'm Bayako Siwa, and I seek information on the crocodile. The phantom that has brought Fayum to its knees? What could you want with him? He belongs to a group that is destroying Egypt. I intend to hunt every last one of them down. Then you are looking for the same thing these soldiers were. And what would that be? I stole a ledger from a Greek magistrate I suspect of corruption. It should reveal the identity of this crocodile. And if we get it to Apollodorus, we may be able to bring down the whole organization. Where's the ledger now? I gave it to my wife Henut to hide. As long as the Ptolemies think it's with me, my family is safe. That is why I have to stay on the move. Here. This will tell Henut you are a friend we trust. It is for my daughter, Shadia. Once you have the ledger, find me at the docks south of Uhemeria. Right. Records of local problems which may have the crocodile at their root. They may interest you as a Magi. Wonderful. And now we get to see some of the interworkings of Assassin's Creed Origins. And it starts with this skill tree here. These are your abilities. Um, currently level 21. Uh, so a, a, a chunk of the, the middle has been unlocked. But as you can see, there's just tons for you uh, to add. Um, they fall in three categories. Seer, Warrior, and Hunter. Um, they were described to me as Warrior is all about combat. Hunter is all about range. And then Seer is all about tools. Um, but there are elements of, of attack and assassination as well as... Uh, Eagle Vision throughout. Eagle Harass is one that I wanted to get but didn't have enough points for where uh, Senu can actually stun targets as they're going. There's things with XP to double that up. Um, it was inspired by the Final Fantasy X Sphere Grid, which is interesting. You can see that there. I was expecting, frankly, something a little bit bigger, um, but I guess for the 
you know, the length of the game, it's not an 80 hour RPG, but for the size and scope of the game, this is what they wanted to deliver. Uh, but I think it'll be fun to sort of spec your character more the direction that you see fit. So we grab aerial attacks, uh, now we take a look at some of our gear. You'll notice that we have two bows uh, equipped, and you can switch between those with the D-pad. We have a shield here, um, and they all have different stats and, and, and things like that, which is nice. Um, we are now, look at that, all that fruit on the boat. All that food and yum yum, a lot of detail. I feel like uh, Ubisoft has really improved on that lately. I noticed it um, in, in some of their other games as well. That like their, you know, internal uh, environments and sort of their more their areas that could use more detail got more detail. So we are gonna swim our way over to more of a, uh, a skipper skimmer type boat. But look what we find! A freaking crocodile! All of a sudden, this turns wild. And look at this croc. Okay. First of all, I love the dirty yellow water, but the croc loves the boat even more. He swallows it and then goes after the uh, the sailor, takes the sailor out, and we're going to pull out our bow and arrow in the water. I don't know how realistic this is, but it felt awesome. The blood is now pouring out of Mr. Crocodile. We get the kill, go under, and uh, loot him for, it said some crafting materials. So we got something of a crocodile, some skin or a head or a mouth or something. And I really love just like... Not only is it very crisp, right, but some of the visual flourishes that they added here with the water being kind of like a murky yellow, ugh, it looks so good. I love that the color palette is distinctly different from past Assassin's Creed, right? A lot of AC, when I remember AC, when I think about it, it's like, okay, this is a, it's a very, like, white and, and very, like, gray and, and red and, and black type game, but this has so much color. And I know they did that in Black Flag as well, so it's no surprise that the team from Black Flag built out such a vibrant world once again. I love how we also borrowed the boat from him. We're just like, hey, I'm just gonna borrow it. And he's like, okay, I'll just let you drive me wherever you want to go. He doesn't fight. It's not called steal. It's called borrow. Because Bayek is a, uh, Medjai, and he is a basically part of the royal uh, army there, you know, one of the, the soldiers that's supposed to help protect the land in Egypt, and so he has some respect and some clout, which is unique and, and different um, compared to some of the other AC heroes. And as you know, this game is about the creation of the Brotherhood and the, the eventual uh, forming of the Assassins, and so it'll be really cool to see how Bayak does that, who he works with and what we learn about the other games from this game. And I, I really hope they have modern day stuff. I really hope that they put, you know, some new twist on the modern day and that we control a character and that there there is, you know, that element. Because that was one of my favorite things of 2 was, like, the mystery there. And it didn't really pan out by the time we got to, you know, the future games and it kind of got goofy. But if done right, you know, if, if they can have a level of care and uh, restraint with the modern day and, and not make it so out of control, I think it could be super fun. So... We are now going to head to the village, which will be fun, and we're going to see what is going on with that ledger. That's what we're searching for. Can we find the ledger, the lovely ledger uh, from the informant's wife? Uh, so we're heading inside the village, and it is gorgeous. Now, this is a smaller village. You can see there's not a whole lot of verticality, but the mountains behind will provide ample climbing opportunities, and later we will hit uh, some bigger cities. Uh, supposedly that the game does really canvas a large area of Egypt and cast a wide net in terms of variety Alright, so here is the lady. Let's see what she has to say Henut? Yes Hotefres sent me. I am here to help and I have your daughter's doll Great. I was awaiting word from my man Thank you. Come eat and we can talk Ever since Hotefres got a hold of that ledger, Fayum has been on edge. Soldiers with torches patrol every night, and this aunt's kitchen was practically razed to the ground. They have left Shadia and me alone at least. Hotefres has made sure of that. Where is the ledger now? I instructed our most loyal servant to hide it in our villa. They can search the place as many times as they want. They will never find it. Can you take me there? I have been summoned to the lighthouse for another of their routine investigations. Ah, that may not be safe. The Ptolemaic authorities seem to be working with the crocodile. It happens every few days. Don't worry. They wouldn't dare touch someone in an official position. Shadia, show Bayek the way to our home. Come on, Uncle Bayek! You can see my house from that roof! Follow me! You are not afraid of heights, are you? All right. <laughs> hey, lead on, little one. I will follow. We'll follow the daughter of the informant. 
and hope to find what we're looking for. And I like that Bayek seems to have much more of a, uh, uh, just a happy disposition. He seems to be much more of like a well-rounded character, and, and there was a, a, a sense of brooding. Um, Syndicate took care of it a little bit, but some of the characters were just kind of like, Ubisoft in general, if you remember with Aiden Pierce, it was getting a little just... Thank you, Shadia. A little dark. You should go back to your mother now. So we're now going to use Senu um, to spot uh, the different enemies in this uh, sort of base here, and we're looking for the ledger. We got to get it, and it supposedly should be right there. You can see as that yellow circle uh, narrows, it's it's basically the new way of, of seeking out objectives uh, with Eagle Vision. So canvassing the area, making sure we get everything. Um, I did have to cut out that cutscene there at request of Ubisoft. Um, so some of the cutscenes were asked to be removed, so that's why it just went straight to other gameplay there. Uh, but we're going to get the back of the building, and we notice another guy. It's defending. It kind of tells you what they're doing. So if they're uh, going to the bathroom, if they're defending what they're doing, it gives you a little information, which is interesting. Uh, and even from that perspective, the game looks really good. All right, here we picked up Shadia's scrolls. This is some collectible. Um, I don't know the, the level of, of all the, those systems in the game, but they did promise there will be tons to do, and it seems like it. This world seems massive. Uh, we weren't allowed to see the full map. Um, but based on just this area alone, I, I I probably believe that it is going to be just absolutely gargantuan. Um, up here, I'm going to try to use the whistle to lure this guy out. It didn't work as I planned. You can use the whistle to call your horse or your mount. Could be a camel, could be a horse. Um, but I was trying to use the whistle to see if I could lure this dude. And I think he I think he heard it a little bit. You can kind of see his outline look, but I'm not sure. I, not enough to not enough for him to move towards me. Um, and I figured rather than risk a head-on conflict, I would climb up the walls and see how some of that worked. Um, climbing has been moved to the A button, the parkour button, as they're calling it. Um, there's no longer a sprint, you just hold the stick in that direction. And it is a very streamlined system. So much for stealth, Bayek. Goodness gracious, sakes alive. All right, let's go ham on these guards. Uh, so it is streamlined a bit, but it felt good. I didn't notice any of the sort of jank in climbing. Um, you know, there, there still are some things with controls where momentum I wish was a little better, and I wish combat was a little better. Sometimes I felt like I got trapped in animations, and I wish like it was a little different. Um, just on, in, in a couple small areas, and, and maybe it's just things that will never change about AUC, but I will tell you that, like, climbing did feel very good, um, and you'll see more of it later on. I, I didn't at all feel, um, you know, they've experimented around with how to control climbing, right? Like an up and down button, and, and this one just kind of makes sense. It's not going to be challenging climbing, um, like something in, in like Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, it's not going to be like follow a path, like in Tomb Raider or Uncharted. It's more just like, go where you want uh, with ease. And, and that's probably good for most people. We're going to enter inside of this hut house here. More like a mansion, I guess, for this day and age, especially in this town. And we will... Uh, look at those colors, gosh. I was wowed by the environment, um, and, and I wanted to be. You know, we knew it was Egypt for a long time, or at least we assumed it was. And I think they they hit a home run with that. Um, so let's grab this ledger, or what's left of it, Shadia's diary. I have to find Henry. That is not the ledger we seek. Okay. Oh, Shadia, what have you done, little one? All right. You cannot play games with the crocodile. Don't play games with the crocodile. And this guy, uh, I was going to use the five arrows, but instead I whistle at him, assassinate as they come through the door. So you still can do some of those things uh, that you know and love from Assassin's Creed and, and play uh, play coy with these goofballs here. As we slaughter him, you see the gold specks flying out of that lootable pouch. We get some coin and we'll head out. Uh, I did pull um, this guy over my shoulders to see how that worked. Want to just kind of get as many different... Uh, test of the system as possible, and you can still dodge the guy on your shoulder, which is interesting. His dodge is more like a slide. It's interesting. It's, it's a very unique way uh, to avoid enemies, uh, but I like it. It's very functional, and while, like, kind of fast and crazy, um, it does help you really get out the way. This guy is about to try and preemptively knock the arrow out the air, but he's a little too early. Fly, swat, not gonna stop me. Sayonara and silencio to that Mr. Guard. Now, we've got two here, and you remember I did purchase the uh, the aerial attack, so we'll climb up, and we'll say hello to this guy. You see assassinate. I was trying to get the double. Don't think I have that ability, so we'll take the single, and then this guy's like, yo, what's up? And we will say uh, hello as we slice through his brains. Boom shakalaka. Goodness gracious sakes alive. I love the way you lie. 
All right, so um, now I need to go find Shadia and see what she's up to. But we're going to use uh, the rooftops to work our way there. And I wanted to uh, just, again, navigate using the, the, the parkour button and see, like, okay, I, I run off the, the corner edge, it works there. Um, and I'm able to kind of move effortlessly and very quickly, and there's not any of that, like, clipping or getting stuck on edges, at least thus far. Who knows how it is in bigger cities. I would assume they fixed it. Um, that guy... Uh, had some information for us, one of the cutscenes I had to remove, but we gotta go get Shadia. Um, she was headed to the Euphemeria Lighthouse. Will we reach her in time? Alright, so a lot of different ways for you to traverse the tops of the structures. And all in all, like, I was impressed with the changes they've made. I think it still feels Assassin's Creed. I was talking about this in my impressions video. Like, I think I was expecting a little bit more of a change, but instead what you find is it's about 80-85% still AC, and they, they tweaked 15-20%, to 20%, I feel. And those are good tweaks, and, and maybe it's the best mix. Um, while I did want a little more, like, crazy difference, maybe it is smart to take an already established awesome foundation, and then just expand upon and refine the parts that were a little clunky, uh, or that held it down, or that felt a little stale. Um, so I think from that perspective, they've done a fantastic job. If you're coming in expecting a brand new game, it, it's it's a brand new Assassin's Creed, but it's not a brand new, you know, it, it's not going to, like, flip the formula on its head. But it is making upgrades, improvements, and tweaks in a variety of areas that I feel, thus far, create a stronger game. So Senu here is looking for our objective. Um... And I like Senu. I like the idea of being able to have this aerial perspective and fly around as opposed to using the traditional eagle vision. Um, again, it does very much remind me of Far Cry Primal or of uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. But nonetheless, it's a good system. Uh, it's, there's a reason, I guess, it was in those other games. So we've got a couple enemies down there. We'll go check them out and see what they're up to. I think... Uh, I am going to go, actually, have to hit another event right now, go in and play some more games, record some more games for you guys. You'll get to see, uh, me approach a very, uh, well, I, I won't spoil it, a very, uh, the cutscene was actually removed, so it'll be for the final game, but there's an interesting encounter and a very sad, sad moment, uh, with, with the daughter, uh, and that's coming up, um, well, you'll, you'll see, you'll see part of it, so, anyhow, I'll just let you see that, and then you'll, I'll climb up that mountain and go find the... Uh, the synchronization point up there, those are still in the game, and that's a fun view of the entire area that we got to explore. But for now, I'm going to go uh, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I do have another video of a boss coming your way soon. Until that time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Your fantastic day. Let me know if you need anything or have any questions about Assassin's Creed, what you think about the game, how you think it looks, if you're pumped for Origins later this fall. If you plan on picking it up, I want to know your thoughts. I want to know your take. This is a big guy. He has a humongous hammer mace. Uh weapon of ultimate destruction. I did not like it. It was chewing through my white chunks as fast as it could, but, but I was dodging and doing my best to avoid all of his aggressive swings. Eventually, you'll get parries, I guess, uh, which would be really cool and help add some depth to that combat, because I like the combat. I like the, the modifications they've made. I wish there's a little more depth to it. That would suit my style more as a fan of stuff like Dark Souls and God of War. Um, but we kill the captain. We take out his helper. His next dude is dumb to even challenge, and for now, I'll let you watch the rest of this awesome gameplay. We finish him we finish the commentary. You guys enjoy the finish of the video. Until that time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Fantastic day. Drink so much. I love you. Gruesome Maddock, an awesome weapon for an awesome game and an awesome group of you watching. Until next time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Fantastic day. Drink so much. I love you. And we'll see you all later. <laughs>
found it. A method. This evil boy has profaned the gods. He's punished. Priest, what has the boy done to deserve this? This has nothing to do with you. Back away. The boy will get what he deserves. I serve so bad. I serve so bad. I am a slave. Boy, what are you accused of? I was charged with ferrying two gold sobecks to Crocodilopolis. Just out of port, my ship sank by the lighthouse. I almost drowned. The statues were lost. I didn't steal them. Silence! And you, step back, Sahedi. Wait. Do not threaten me, Neb. I am a Magi. If the boy speaks the truth, I will find your gold sobecks. If he lies, he is yours to deal with. I should check the big Octarim ship. Available October 27th. Pre-order now and get a bonus mission. Secrets of the First Pyramids.